we're just heading into Gowan Bray, which is a property of about 7,000 hectares. The largest piece of land on mainland Tasmania that's ever been handed back to the Aboriginal community. What a great day for the Palawa community that this land acquisition has been secured through collaboration between the Aboriginal Land Council of Tasmania, the Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre, the Tasmanian Land Conservancy and the Federal Government. All those involved in the acquisition have gathered to witness this historic event. I acknowledge that I'm standing on Aboriginal land. It's an absolute privilege to be here representing the Minister, Tony Burke, who's responsible for the administration of the funds that have seen this purchase come about. What a fantastic example of what can happen when people work together. It all started about 18 months ago when the Tasmanian Land Conservancy found out that Go and Bray was up for sale. We have known for a very long time that it has very important conservation values. We applied to the National Reserve Systems Caring for Our Country program, which is the, an Australian government program, and we received a grant for two thirds of the purchase price. The remaining funds were contributed by the Indigenous Land Corporation. As we were investigating the values of the property, we discovered quite quickly the cultural significance of this place to the Tasmanian Aboriginal people. We then contacted uh, the Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre and the Aboriginal Land Council of Tasmania to gauge their interest, um, of course, which was um, absolute, frank and immediate. When I came here uh, for the first time, I really had a sense of being. That spiritual connection to the place. The collaboration has fulfilled a long time aspiration of the Tasmanian Land Conservancy. I'm feeling quite emotional. We couldn't have done this without you and it's for me significant, for the Tasmanian Land Conservancy very significant and something that the Tasmanian Land Conservancy has wanted to achieve, an enduring friendship and partnership with the Tasmanian Aboriginal people. Today sees the, the, the time when we come back to this landscape as the custodians uh, to use this land so that it can educate uh, our community in the traditions and understandings and stories of our old people. For the Aboriginal community, this represents a great opportunity to reconnect with the land and their culture. The property shares a boundary with the Tasmanian World Heritage Reserve in the north and other Tasmanian Land Conservancy properties to the east and west. The total private land now under conservation is 18,000 hectares. Another addition to Tasmania's proud conservation legacy 